Hello everyone. We are meeting here uh, on an another day to discuss something uh, interesting and important um, case study on rise and fall of a giant. So I have given the logo here. So the automobile lovers might have known what company that I am going to talk today is nothing but the Chevrolet, an American based company like Ford which has been owned by General Motors. We usually call that as GM. So this particular topic will be covered in HRM. Um, under this, we gonna have some kind of an interesting facts to follow. And as the end of this case study, I want each and every one of you uh, to take a same uh, kind of any particular product which falls under any company which was very popular in the olden days, but now they aren't uh, um, been successful as like the other company so you have to uh, do a case study on a particular company and you have to explain it using a business model canvas as like we do it in the uh, previous case studies okay so when i said uh, chevrolet when you people were in the school this was the one car most of the people get uh, the craze factor on the youngsters at least once in their life they wanted to drive this particular car Chevrolet Cruze. So uh, why this was so popular in those days after so many years even this company is not even does exist in India. What is the main reason behind this kind of uh, uh, car company to uh, see that kind of a fall in our country the main reason i wanted to showcase here is like they had a scale figure of right from 2003 to 2016 because 2017 uh, totally the market was shut down they were just uh, uh, trying to sell the cars which they had in their dealer dealerships and by 2018 totally uh, they have stopped uh, uh, this particular company uh, uh, sales in india Still in America, people used to uh, buy Chevrolet car as their first uh, preference, but that particular company was not uh, interested to sell car in the other markets throughout the world. But the automotive field has not come down. What I'm trying to say is that only particularly this company was a failure in India. Just take Honda, just take Hyundai, Tata. Maruti. They are being a giant even now in the pandemic situation. Because in the pan when the world is suffering a lot, most of the company were in a place to shut down their units. But the mobile automobile field were drastically came down. In the, in the lockdown five in the last five to six months. There was not even the people are ready to buy uh, in such numbers, in uh, decent numbers. But the companies like Hyundai and uh, Maruti were even selling cars in those kind of time. So what makes the difference from the other competitors in the market? That is what we need to focus right now. So this is just a scale figure how the things are. So it started uh, very uh, in a smaller number and it reaches particular unit in the year of 2010 and 11 by uh, the 2016 and 17 it drastically came and you could see from the graph so i have listed out some kind of uh, important points that uh, you need to uh, focus okay now one is like the company was working on policies which were created according to the US market. As I said in the first itself, this GM motor is a base of an American company. The policies that they have defined over there were not suitable for the Indian markets. Indian markets are always uh, uh, interested in something like what they used to see and listen. So they need to make attractable and attractive kind of ads and promotions to sell their cars where this company were not doing that. So Hyundai and Honda they were continuously giving so much of good ads representing their company in a proper way to explore things what they are happening with them. 
And then there, there was a pathetic image in the market due to its costly service and unavailability of spare parts. Guys, uh, if you have known about this, for the last few years, even uh, the car company which is like in the premium range, they were trying to shut uh, some kind of amounts or like to cut down some kind of amounts which are hectic uh, when it comes to after sales. Uh, that is nothing but the service. So service cost is what the Indian people will always look into. Even they were ready to buy 60, 70, 80 lakh cars, but they were not ready to pay huge numbers of amount for their service. So that is where one main reason that Chevrolet has failed to make some impact. Because their service costs were very high. Each and every car service were around 20 to 25,000, which will be a cost of for some company cars even for four to five years. So that was the one main problem. Then launching of cheap Chinese products like Sale, which has a poor build quality, cheap interiors, lots of manufacturing defects, defects and low mileage and even high maintenance. See, uh, this particular car was a major uh, drawback that it was launched in uh, India because uh, it had so many uh, technical problems where even the company person even could not be able to uh, rectify it. So that was the one main problem they have faced with that particular car. So it demolished the brand image in India. So that was the one reason that has happened. And low resale value. Because of these kind of factors happened in the few years, the people were not ready to uh, go for uh, resale of this particular model. So this was the main thing that they were uh, uh, not able to do it in a proper way. So after a period of time, repeatedly they uh, have seen the fall in the market that they weren't competent to uh, with the other uh, manufacturers in India. So this made them to leave the country by 2018. So now we don't have Chevrolet cars in India. So this was the main thing that we need to focus on here. So this is how the business model canvas we you have people have to do so just choose the customers you can take any company okay that is not a problem you can take any company and do the proper uh, um, business model chaos bmc okay so first you take the customer who is going to be the customer that is ourselves and who are all being targeted then you go for customer values that is the second one the third one will be the important activity nothing but the value proposition which makes this product a valuable one in the market and fourth one will be the customer segment. So uh, uh, where this helps in connecting with the customers and how this is going to be that will be explained here. And uh, in the uh, fifth one we have like income structure, incoming resources and uh, other things that is needed to make this particular thing. Uh, revenue, we can say that is in uh, revenue. So to make that revenue what is the cost structure that need that will be the ninth one. Okay. So coming back to the point of uh, the other one, sixth one will be the resources. Who will be the important resources behind this particular uh, brand? And after that will be the partner. So in the partners, we'll be discussing on key suppliers and key activities. So and after that, you have cooperation that is nothing but the key resources and involving partners in creating the value. So this is how the BMC has to be defined. So uh, I don't want to get into this right now because we have uh, explained this in uh, a uh, uh, class which we have discussed in the previously. Uh, so uh, now you have to take any particular company and do the BMC and you have to present it. Okay. Thank you.